how do you feel about the cashless system and how would it impact the operators? Well, my honest truth, it was, it, it's not a good thing right now. You got, we will have to like sit down and, and have a very, very much long thoughts before. Are we accustomed to cash in our hands? Getting paid our cash when we don't work. It doesn't matter. We, we live in a world that, you know, everything that happens in America is going to happen here. You know what I'm saying? How, how the guns get in Barbados? Come from overseas. Come through our ports. Airways and all kind of things. I was a victim already of getting shot, get robbed, and I'm thinking, but in my boy Marlon Tempo case, his was in a different case. His was the person that was in the van with him and he making his last um, trip. Well, me, you know, when I, made my, I was, when I came up on top of the road, I stopped, met change, and the, the youngster come from behind the van and come and point the gun and shoot me one time. No. No. That will not that will not stop the crime call. If when these youngsters come out with their guns and come to rob and the fact that you don't even got no money, they still gonna want to shoot you for not having the money. Even if you give them the money they can still shoot you. So that cash flow system, it, it ain't gonna work, and it can't work for everybody. That be a foolishness. Cause you put that cash in the van, right? Maybe you put everybody to work, and nobody ain't got to work. What gonna happen there? Then you go up and government get money. The government ain't giving them money in a hurry. So they're wasting time. So they're wasting time with me. I'm going in there. Remember, you you go cash the system. You go got money to put in diesel, you know. If you got the money, how you can get diesel? You go put money in one pocket. To put the diesel in, that's all free. Well, to be quite honest with you, I believe that the cashless system is utter nonsense. If you make a cashless system, there are over, say, 200 minibuses operating in the river terminal. That ain't even includes but the terminal down below. The Prince is the name right. Cashless, putting all the conductors out of work. When you put conductors out of work, look at the kind of people that this conduct van, look at them. I ain't judging anyone, but look at them. I's a conduct there. You really trying to cut crime? Tell me, you really trying to cut, cut crime? By sending home the conductors? Or are you looking to increase crime? If you want cash to stop crime, you go put it in Cave Shepherd, a man in Cave Shepherd, a rock Cave Shepherd, a man who robbed the Chinese store, insect stores, cashless can't stop the crime. Criminals is get more intelligent, it's a waste of time. Everybody can't be fine with it. All of you have have it, but as I say, the cashless system is a bunch of nonsense. That is honest to God truth. If the gentlemen don't come together and speak about this here, and Roy Raphael got to come inside the van stand and speak to the jinks in front of the news too, because he with this behind doors thing all the time, we can't deal with this here anymore. The conductors are very useful when it comes to um, working on the buses, right? They minimize a lot of the risk factors for us in terms of robbery. Because if you have a conductor on board, the, the chances of getting robbed is very minimum. More so than when the drivers work by themselves. So the rest is sure that the association will meet with them. But right now, as it, as it stands, it will really be just to do a pilot project of one or two vehicles. So it's not widespread, right? We just want to get some data to find out how it's going to work. But so far, we understand that it's not going to work immediately because if we take cash from the vans altogether, we're going to lose conductors, we're going to lose drivers, we're going to lose um, passengers as well, and it will not be very good for our business. So they have the assurance from, from me as chair of the association that we are going to tread very carefully.